It's been said that more books have been written about Abraham Lincoln than any other figure in American history. Yet some mysteries about this celebrated man remain unsolved. Mysteries that relate to his true birthplace and his biological father. For nearly 200 years, stories have been circulating that the nation's 16th president was actually born in the western North Carolina foothills and not the Kentucky frontier. Those accounts and reports have been heavily researched for almost four decades by a former school principal and self-proclaimed Lincoln historian Tom Melton. Melton discovered through various books, articles, and oral histories that there are actually nine possible fathers of Lincoln and 13 viable birth sites that include the Puzzle Creek community in Rutherford County. Our common sense tells us that Eight of the nine fathers we can throw out there wrong. That story in that place, or that person, not being the father has nothing to do with this. One of them, though, is correct. There was an Abraham Lincoln. He was born of Nancy Hanks, and there was a birthplace. And I believe that we're standing at the birthplace of Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States. In eastern Rutherford County, outside of the town of Bostick, stands a lonely hill just above Puzzle Creek, and it's here that many people believe Lincoln was actually born. According to the documented evidence recorded in the J.C. Coggins book, Abraham Lincoln, a North Carolinian with proof, we find that Abraham Enloe, a prosperous farmer and community leader, was the father of Abraham Lincoln by Nancy Hanks. The story states that Nancy was taken in as a servant by the Enloe family when she was just a small child. Well, it's a clearly established fact that Nancy Hanks was placed in the home of Abraham Enloe here in Rutherford County and lived there for several years. We this fact is supported through Rutherford County census records of the time that lists Nancy Hanks as part of the Enloe household. Coggins' book states that as Nancy Hanks grew to be a young woman, she and Abraham Enloe became romantically involved, and after the family moved from the Puzzle Creek community to the Ocona Lufty River in Swain County, it was discovered that Hanks was expecting a child. Believing that her husband was the father of this child, Mrs. Enloe insisted that Nancy move away. They conspired to do something about Nancy, namely to bring her back down here to Puzzle Creek for her to have her baby in peace and let the Enlow household settle down. There wouldn't be so much turbulence up there. Melton goes on to say that Hanks was eventually taken from Puzzle Creek and sent to Kentucky, where she married a man by the name of Tom Lincoln. There is no question that the Nancy Hanks came through uh, Rutherford County, North Carolina. Abraham was very much aware that Tom Lincoln was not his father. Uh, Nancy must have told him that uh, at some time during his childhood. Uh, so it's po it, once again, you've got so many different possibilities. Dr. Tony Eastman has been intrigued by this story for 30 years, and while he believes that Lincoln was born in Kentucky, he contends that this legend does have its basis. They have a lot of good circumstantial evidence, um, especially the family resemblance uh, between. Uh, Lincoln and the family that Nancy was supposed to have gotten right, involved in with. Uh -huh. uh, and I will say this, I've seen photographs of the Enloe family and they are strikingly resembling uh, Abraham Lincoln. A confession can be found in a collection of papers that belong to Wesley Enloe, the youngest of the family. It essentially says, without a doubt, Lincoln was an Enloe. In his day, and the attitude of the general public was, they would never have elected a boy without a known father as president of the United States. Now, he knew that, and he wanted to be president. I believe God wanted him to be president. Lincoln was very concerned about it, and I mentioned to you before that he actually put an advertisement in a newspaper which circulated through this area, asking if anyone knew anything about his uh, real father uh, and could verify it. He actually offered a reward. Uh, so he was aware. Uh, and he did not rule out North Carolina. First published in 1899, the James H. Cathy book, Genesis of Lincoln, quoted Lincoln as saying, my right name is Enloe, but I have always gone by the name of my stepfather. I believe that of the many stories that have been circulated about his birth and his father and his uh, birthplace and his mother, that this is the most credible, believable of any of them. Okay because it covers some of the things that the other stories uh, just don't explain. For more details on this and other Lincoln legends, check out the public library or contact the Bostic Historical Society. For Shelby Headline Magazine, I'm Noel T. Manning II.